funny. I don't like that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> that scared me. Happy First Soup Friday. Oh, okay. Uh, happy First Soup Friday, everybody. Uh, we recently just saw Bobcat Goldthwait's uh, God Bless America. Uh, it is very much in the same vein as uh, movies like Idiocracy and... Uh, well, I guess Idiocracy. I can't really yeah, think of too many movies that uh, compare uh, to this sort of movie. Yeah, maybe uh, less refined, but because it's not a big Hollywood production. Yes, yes, it is a very uh, like self-made kind of movie uh, yeah. without too many uh, famous uh, famous people in it. Although uh, Tom Kenny does show up uh, yeah. <laughs> for a, a hot minute, it's which like, was kind of interesting. Yeah. And uh, you said uh, you saw some of the Steve G. Yeah, Steve G has I, a was... tiny, tiny cameo. Like yeah. blinking, you missed him. Yes, it is so quick. I only knew it was him because I was looking up somebody else in the cast that I thought was Bobcat and uh, he wasn't but then I was like oh Stephen G's in this movie and then when he finally shows up he's in it for like for like maybe two or three seconds and it's gone yeah it's yeah uh, the movie uh, stars uh, Joel Murray uh and uh, they are related to uh, yeah, Bill Murray to Bill Murray yes, I uh, think they were in his golf pa show. yeah apparently uh Bill Murray and his brothers uh, apparently uh, run a or own a uh, establishment down in Florida named the Caddyshack. Oh. Which I, I looked up when I was looking him up to see if he was related. Uh, and I was like, oh, neat. I had no idea. I wonder if that's where they filmed his golf show. But yeah, Brian Doyle Murray, Joel Murray, and Bill Murray. Yeah, his, uh, I believe, is it his father was from the, in the Christmas Vacation movie? He was the big boss man. Uh, yeah. He is a Murray. I'm not sure. Yeah, if Brian Doyle. That's Brian Doyle Murray, isn't it? Isn't I that his boss? I don't remember the name. But anyway, uh, this is entirely off track, off topic. But anyway, uh, God bless America. A very, uh, very patriotic title. Uh, almost thought we were gonna do this as a Fourth uh, of July video, but uh, you know, I guess you know, as good as time as any. Uh, We'll touch on it later. Yeah, it is. Uh, how much do we want to give away about the plot of this movie here? Um, I think we give the plot away because it, uh, it does. It, it does it, take a few it's, minutes. It's uh, from to get 2011, to it. so it's uh, it's over a decade old now. Yeah, it's it's been there. You know what? I think it's okay. Yeah, at, at this point. But yeah, uh, you've basically, had 12 years to watch ba it. Basically, this guy Frank uh, is uh, has has very unfortunate life. Uh, he. Lives in a duplex with paper thin walls. He's got insomnia and uh, migraines. His neighbors keep him up at night. Uh, and uh, he's fed up with life in general. Yeah. Uh, everything he sees on TV, uh, you know, drives him mad. And, uh, you know, then uh, things get worse for him. Yeah, it, it basically his whole day is. He's like, kept up and, and can't go and to he's, sleep. And he's a nice guy. Yeah. He he is not like a lot of other protagonists where he's kind of, kind of a jerk. No, he's the, the nice. He's the guy you want to be your best friend. He yeah. is a really awesome dude who just has life crap on him yeah. constantly. Yeah, he's if it's not, not his his daughter and his ex wife, it's his job or you know it's his health problems. Everything is is out to get him, and you know he doesn't deserve it. We we find out at one point, or it's alluded to at one point that he uh, served in the armed forces. Uh, I, I don't know if they actually specified which one. Just that he has definitely had some sort of uh, you know uh, you know uh, is military just the the right way. Sure. Seems like uh, let's say, call it military training. So you know he he served his country. And all this, and and yet now, uh, you know, nothing's going right for him, uh, and nobody seems to care to do anything about it. So uh, he ends up uh, deciding to basically go out, go out in a blaze of glory type of thing. <laughs> what what would you add to that? Anything? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a couple things you touched on that I that I'd like to comment on. For one, yes, he starts to say basically dealing, uh, not being able to sleep, dealing with his neighbors. He goes and 
watches television, everything on TV is upsetting, then he goes to work and people just want to talk about the things he hates. Oh, television. yeah, and the, and the radio on the way to work yes, as well. Yeah, the radio. So he's constantly bombarded by the and unpleasant his, things. His co-workers keep regurgitating, like, verbatim what he's seen and heard on TV. Yeah, he doesn't and, want to talk about it. He's like, I don't care about that. And they're all like, yeah, right. And he's like, no, seriously, I hate this stuff. And then they think there's something wrong with him. Yeah, and that, that's the other thing. It's also uh, about his co-workers. They all seem to be, like... Uh, generation younger than him, so they're all yeah. into this stuff, and he's like, you know, I, I watched the first season of Survivor, and you know, that was enough for me. I'm out. Yeah, uh, this crap. And he's sort of like, thing. and his main issue is that people are just mean and rude about the way yes. they go about things. It's not so much that they're disagreeable; it's just that they all seem to be profiting off of being mean, and yes. he doesn't like that. Mean and, and hateful and and like you, you said, know. he's um, uh, he's a protagonist that you can actually like. It's not. It's very similar movie format to Falling Down, oh. with um Michael Douglas, same guy from Ant Man, right? Michael Douglas, and uh, he interesting um, basically gets fed up with society and goes around and starts. Oh, uh, that, talk, uh, you know, taking vengeance on people. You just reminded me, uh, one of the uh, extras uh, on the DVD mentioned uh, the ins one of the inspiration <laughs> was the movie Network. Oh, yeah. I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore! It's uh, like one of the, the famous lines from that movie. It's in the AFI's top 100 ah. quote, uh, most well-known quote movie quotes. American Film Institute. Yeah, you got it. But yeah, uh, so definitely, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever actually seen the movie, but I, I know of that scene. But yeah, uh, yeah, he's he is definitely mad as hell, and he's not going to take it anymore. And uh, yeah, that's what kicks off uh, the events of the movie. And uh, after he does the thing he does, he ends up meeting up with this uh, this young girl here, played by uh, Tara Lynn Barr. Uh, her name is Roxy. And uh, at first, uh, you know, he doesn't know what to make of her. Yeah. You know, she's kind of, you know, weird to him. He's a, uh, he's but eventually, hanger on. Yes. And eventually, you know, he she kind of convinces him to let her tag along with him, uh, and they end up uh, it kind of bonding together. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, his his daughter and his uh, his ex wife are very estranged. His daughter like pretty much hates him. Uh, he wants to. He wants her to come visit for her visitation, and she's like, "I don't want to visit. There's nothing to do. I hate you." Yeah. And uh, kid. you know, he's clearly doing everything he can. Uh, you know, it's nothing. You know uh, that he's being like a bad dad or anything. He's struggling to get by, and he's doing what he can. Uh, but it's not good enough for her. She's spoiled uh, by her her mom and, and uh, her. Uh, I, I get. I mean, it's not really. In, implied that the uh her stepdad is or i guess not stepdad what do you call the, the your mom's boyfriend <laughs> i don't even know but yeah uh it's implied that he's a nice guy that it's probably not him it's probably just the mom spoiling her yeah because uh, like the what little exchanges we have with the the other the other guy yeah, uh, he, the, he's just super nice yeah he's a police officer dad and you know, Which, yeah. it's kind of ironic given what what happens with the dad. Yeah. He just it never figures it anything out. Yeah, the dad's doing all this illegal stuff, and mm -hmm. then like his replacement, like doesn't doesn't even catch a whiff of it. Yeah, it's just this pure, unlike a lot of police officers in the real world. Yeah, he's unfortunately, actually, he's very pure and sweet, and honestly the most likable character in the movie. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I think so. But he's a small part. He's not really, yeah. like, a major player. He's just a guy that's there and offers a juxtaposition to all the terrible people yeah. on one side, then the terrible people on the other, and then... He, but he's just a genuinely nice guy, in spite of it all. But anyhow, uh, yeah, so... The, the girl kind of uh, becomes, like, a, a new daughter to him for a while. Uh, yeah. He starts, like, showing, like, taking her around, showing her, you know, things that, uh, you know, uh, she's very much interested in. You know, it it's really seems like the, the sort of relationship he wishes he had with his actual daughter. Yeah. Uh, but she's too busy playing her, you know, Nintendo DS, uh, which uh, I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah, that's fat. 
Oh yeah, was it yeah, that one? Yeah, the Fat Man yes. called. So uh, I don't think there was ever any indication of what game she was playing, but yeah. uh, just that she was getting get it to the next level, and yeah. she did. She couldn't stop playing to answer to talk to her dad on the phone. And she wanted a and, new iPhone. Oh yeah. It's like, uh, she got a Blackberry, and that yeah. she, she didn't like. It's yeah, like, why is she getting any of those things? It's like, why are you getting... Why? Yeah, why 2011. Is this this yeah. is definitely a time where, uh, like, kids her age, I don't think we're really getting that stuff yet. Yeah, it wasn't as common. Nowadays, it's just a given. Yeah, I uh, mean, I, I only just thing. got a, a phone for the first time uh, a couple years ago, mm -hmm. right before I moved in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... But anyhow, uh, yeah, the the movie is is very entertaining. Like I said, it's it's very uh, in the vein of uh, of those other movies I mentioned. It's it's uh, definitely violent and dark uh, graphic. Uh, so uh, if you're predisposed to those sorts of things, uh, definitely rated R for a good reason. Uh, yeah. Not a family movie. Yes. Uh, you hate your family. <laughs> Trying to think, was there a whole lot of swearing in it? I, I remember that, there like, was there's some, a there some swearing, some. but the, it was like on TV in the, in the, in the I, universe, yeah. so it's bleeped. The, the swearing, I feel like there is a little bit of it, but for the most part, it's um, it's played naturally. It's yeah. not excessive. Um, Unlike so, some other movies where yeah, they go people, excessive intentionally. Yeah, some people like swear, especially if you watch an action movie, they're swearing just for the sake of swearing. Yeah. Um, this movie is not like that. The dialogue, they try to be more natural. Yes. Um, the TV is outland. The shows are a little, like, exaggerated. Yeah, it, it's halfway in between reality yeah. and uh, idiocracy levels yeah. of, of uh, like, humor for the way the TV plays a role in the story. Uh, but, yeah, um, de definitely, definitely recommend you, you, you find a way to check this movie out, uh, obviously. We we own well, I owned a physical copy, uh, but I found this on Amazon, I believe. Uh, probably even unboxed it on camera back when I was little with Lionel. Only just now opened it, <laughs> but uh, I was like, hey, I gotta put this as one of the choices. And Nazarene picked it. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went. I saw. I mean, I had seen it a few times. The the case a few yeah. times, and I'm like, you know what? This looks like it'll be a fun movie because the cover just makes it look violent, and the description makes it sound like a comedy. And it really is both. The and it's Bobcat the, Gold, uh, Goldthwaite. I can never yes, see his Gold name. Yes, Goldthwaite. Uh, the tagline is taking out the trash one yeah. jerk at a time. Yeah, and if uh, you're not familiar, maybe you are familiar if you're older like I am or like we are, you might know uh, Bobcat from the Police Academy movies mm -hmm. and his stand-up routines. He, he was also an episode of CSI as a stand-up ah. comedian. He has a very distinct. Well, when he would do his characters, he had a very distinct, like indeed, like crescendoing uh, drunk guy uh, voice. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like he couldn't make one sentence without changing tones like four uh, or five different times. It's you know, I talk like this because I'm weird and I'm Bobcat. Goldthwait. Yeah, he did all of his <laughs> most like of his old stand up in pretty much any acting role like that. His real speaking voice is just it's very normal. He, and, did, and he's he not, used he to have really movies. long hair, right? Yep. He used now, to have now uh, at least he the last I saw him, he does not have his long hair anymore. Yeah, he's clean shaven, short haired, and he I think talks he's I think he's losing his hair actually. But in any case, uh, yeah, he he's drastically different from how he was most well not known. in the movie itself. Uh, yeah, he is not in the movie. Uh, but yeah, uh, he was also in an episode of Fire Free the Dark. Oh. I think that was where I first saw him. He was uh, the oh Sandman, I think, or something like that. He was in, like, season one. Ah. I saw him in Police Academy first and occasionally would see some of his stand-up acts. But yeah, uh... Definitely an entertaining movie. He, he definitely rounded up all of his friends to be in, in the movie. Uh, the, the DVD extras, uh, they, they pulled out a couple of different people uh, that he knew that uh, he apparently has collaborated with uh, in various projects. Like Tom Kenny. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure Tom Kenny, uh, I, I don't think I noticed that he was credited for it, but there's a few different times uh, where the, the commercials uh, it have like a narrator, and it's clearly got Tom Kenny doing the voice, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting. 
So the fact that he has a, only a brief cameo as one of his, uh, his office co-workers at the start of the movie, I, I thought was kind of unfortunate, because, uh, you know, he was like, hey, Tom Kenny. <laughs> Indeed. Voice of SpongeBob and uh, lots of other characters that I'm sure you'd be familiar with. I have said, I mean, I don't really have much more to say. Um, like I said, it's very much like falling down. Michael Douglas' character starts looking at how society's run and starts uh, just shooting all the people he disagrees with. And he's a far less likable character. Who is the, probably the character? More the one you were talking about? Yeah, and falling yeah. down. He's uh, certainly polarizing, and I know there's people who are like, yeah, this is, the, this is what we should really do. And I'm like, no. This guy is clearly a mentally unbalanced. Yeah. This movie, it's more so, it's like, yeah, I like this guy, but clearly not a proceed. This is not the path I'd like to take. Yeah, but uh, like he, he's lost everything. Yeah. He, he's, he's, he's lost like, the will to live he, he, at one yeah, point. He, so it's he like, feels he's lost his family, and he believes he's going to die anyway from a, a health condition. Yes. And, and uh, uh, yeah, so every everything's gone for him, and... Uh, you know, he ends up uh, doing this drastic thing and, uh, yeah, just escalates from there. And uh, every every target you'd uh, you'd hope he, he goes after feels like he, he ended up uh, going after. The movie does a great job of, uh, of foreshadowing uh, the events. Uh, I, I don't feel like there's a whole lot that uh, was uh, left hanging as far as... Uh, you know, it's like, oh, come on, they didn't go to the fireworks factory, you know, sort of moment. Yeah. There is, I don't feel like there was anything that uh, was teased but didn't uh, didn't get uh, uh, followed through on. I but, agree. I think all the major points have been picked up on the thing that they needed to get to. I mean, uh, the only thing I can really think of is maybe his what, his ex-wife yeah, and daughter yeah, they could have been old... touched on, but otherwise, Ed, I don't think that there was yeah. too much more you could do with them. There really wasn't much more than, like, reaction shots yeah. or something, but it, it wouldn't have really fit yeah. the style of the movie. So I, they really, everything's, everything that needed to be told was told. And sure also, there's a few dangling threads, Also, the, so I minor. thought it was kind of interesting when I was looking things up. Uh, evidently, the movie that they go and see in the movie theater is a real movie. It's a, a real war documentary. Yeah, which, yeah. Which is a really weird thing for, you know, some teenagers to go see. Uh, it seemed to be the teenager's choice, too. Uh, like, the, the other teenagers, weird, but the little girl uh, wanted to go watch that it seems to be, I think, the movie she wanted to see. Okay, so I mean... It's, yes, it was a very odd choice. Yeah. Uh, I have like, no like idea said, why kids, even of the time, would want to see a war documentary. Yeah. Maybe extra credit for class. That could it, be, that but doubtful. Like <laughs> yeah. I need an in-universe but... explanation, Bobcat. <laughs> Give us a call. What do you think his uh, persona is? Ooh. Would he be a Bobcat? He would have to be a Bobcat. <laughs> or maybe he'd be one of those, like... Yeah, I don't want to be a bomb. Maybe he's Pete Puma. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he just wants to break them all. Be like, listen, uh, I'm gonna be a turtle. Pete Puma. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, uh, I, I know this isn't a typical uh, one of these reviews. Uh, usually, it's something you've probably heard of or something that's in the theaters. But uh, you know, sometimes you know you get something random. Yeah, let's do it. So hopefully, call. you guys uh, like that. Uh, not sure what, what movie we'll end up uh, reviewing next, but uh, hopefully you enjoy run, that one. Run, run. Uh, we've got a, a birthday video uh, coming out uh, next week on the 11th, so we might end up uh, uh, passing on doing the video for, for next Friday just because of that, so there's not two videos in a row. But uh, we'll definitely be back uh, Friday after next uh, with another First Thing Friday video. Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Happy Friday!